Okay, today what we're doing is reviewing this concept of continuity. And really, the most important thing you want to do is be able to memorize the three conditions of continuity. Okay, and those three de definitions are the value at the point C is defined. So it exists, that point exists. Also that the limit as you approach that value C of my function exists. And last of all, that the limit as I approach that value C of my function is equal to the value of that function C. So what we're going to do is look at some problems where we have to check these three conditions, okay? So our first problem, let's say we're given this piecewise function and we have to decide whether, we have to verify the continuity of this function when, the, when we're looking at the value of A equals 1. So first of all, does the value exist? So we're in at A. So when I have F of 1, is there an answer? Well, if I look here, if X equals 1, then the output is 2. So that works. Now secondly, the limit as I approach 1 does, of my function, does that exist? Okay, so we have to decide whether we have a limit. Well, 1 over x minus 1, we know that's a rational function that shifted over 1 to the right, so it looks something like this. And then we are told that when x is 2, that the y value is 1. Okay? Wait, am I doing this right? No, when x is 1, then the y value is 2. I thought I was making a mistake right there. There we go. So does the limit exist as I approach 1? Well, we can see here on the graph, I'll use a highlighter to show this. As I approach 1 from the left, I'm going to negative infinity. As I approach 1 from the right, I'm going to positive infinity. So the limit does not exist, okay? Now also, so it does not meet this condition here. But also we can see that it would not meet the condition because the limit is, does not exist, and the value is 2. So it does not meet that condition either. Okay, moving on along. Let's try another example. What if I'm given this piecewise function, and I have to verify the continuity? So I'm going to look at my two pieces. First of all, though, is there a value when x is 0? Yes, so when f is 0, it is going to be equal to 0 squared, which is 0. Okay, good. Now the second piece, then, does the limit exist? at 0 of this function. Well, e to the x we know is an exponential growth, and x squared is a parabola, so that parabola is when x is greater or equal to 0. And then e to the x, well, e to the 0 is 1, and then it's kind of going like this, right? Exponential growth would keep growing up, 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 okay? So here are my functions. So then the question is, as I approach 0 from the right and the left, am I approaching the same number? Well, we can see as I approach from the left, I'm approaching 1, and as I approach from the right, I'm approaching 0. So no, the limit does not exist, okay? So let me go back to my pen. So it does not exist. So it is not a continuous function. What type of discontinuity? Well, this would be a jump discontinuity. Or in your review sheet, we call that a broken graph. Okay? Is this coming back to you? Oh, what about this? I've got a piecewise that's a little more complicated. Um, and we're looking at when the value of x is 1. So first condition, is the value exist at 1? Well, yeah, it says if x equals 1, then the output is 1. Okay, so that's good. Next piece, is there a limit as I approach 1 of this function? Okay, well, as I approach 1, let's look at this rational function here. So if I substitute 1 at this point, I get a 1 minus 1 in the denominator, which is a 0. So let's try to work a little more. I can see I can factor all over x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, so then this reduces out. So I have x over x plus 1. So I could see then the limit if I were to substitute 1 in. So the limit as x approaches 1 would be 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 1 half. So you see the limit... Um, would be one half for the first piece, but the limit is one on the second piece, so therefore they are not approaching the same. Since they're approaching different numbers, again, we have a broken graph, so we have a jump discontinuity. Okay. What about if you see a problem like this? 
where you have to find values of k that will create this piecewise into a continuous function. Well, if you remember, in a continuous function, um, when I approach from the left and the right, we have to have an equal y value. So in other words, 4x minus 11, we want that to be equal to kx squared. But you notice at this point I have two variables. I have a k and an x. Well, the piece that is important here is looking at 3. Because I know a parabola is continuous, and then I know a line is continuous, but what's going on at the point where the piecewise is breaking? So let's find out what happens when x equals 0, or x equals 3. Is it continuous? So 4 times 3, whoa, sorry about that, equals k times 3 squared. So I end up with 1 is equal to k times 9. So then the answer would be the k would have to be a value of 1 ninth in order to create this to be a continuous function. Do you remember this? Huh? Huh? Okay, I thought so. Okay, now what if you're given something a little more complicated here? We want to find out if this function is continuous at x equals 0. Okay, so what must k be? So that means the natural log of x plus k, we want that to be equal to cosine of k, of x, k times x. So when I substitute 0, I'm going to get the natural log of k, and then I get cosine of 0. Well, we know cosine of 0 to be 1 equals 1. So to solve for k, I have to raise each side to the e power, so k will equal e. So my answer is d. So notice this reviewed quite a few things. This reviewed your trigonometric functions, natural logs, um, and continuity. And I think that might be my last slide. It is. So now do your multiple choice questions. Hope that helps.